Hello, my name is Dr Belinda Davis and I'm the course director for early childhood here at Macquarie University. And hi, my name is Georgie and I'm a recent graduate from Macquarie's Birth to 12 degree in education. And we are both going to be talking to you today about the wonderful degrees we offer here at Macquarie University. So why is early childhood important? And that's one of the questions people often ask when they're thinking about doing a degree in early childhood. I want you to think about this. We've all experienced childhood. We've all been children and it's often part of our lives that we reflect back on with a range of emotions. So if you think back to one of your earliest memories, what was important? Who was there? How did you feel? We all have different memories, but I also think that something that we probably all have in common is that those memories from our early childhood years were mostly shaped by people and the relationships we had with those people who can profoundly affect your life. Most of us remember a great teacher. Hello, my name is Dr. Belinda Davis and I'm the course director for early childhood here at Macquarie University. And hi, my name is Georgie and I'm a recent graduate from Macquarie's Birth to 12 degree in education. And we are both going to be talking to you today about the wonderful degrees we offer here at Macquarie University. So why is early childhood important? And that's one of the questions people often ask when they're thinking about doing a degree in early childhood. I want you to think about this. We've all experienced childhood. We've all been children and it's often part of our lives that we reflect back on with a range of emotions. So if you think back to one of your earliest memories, what was important? Who was there? How did you feel? We all have different memories, but I also think that something that we probably all have in common is that those memories from our early childhood years were mostly shaped by people and the relationships we had with those people who can profoundly affect your life. Most of us remember a great teacher, not because of what they taught, but because they were inspiring. They engaged us through the personal connections they made with us and their recognisable care for our wellbeing and success. Macquarie has a strong reputation and a long history in early childhood teaching and research. The history of early childhood at Macquarie University can be traced back to the late 19th century with the Kindergarten Union and later the Nursery School Teachers College was established in 1931 to prepare early childhood teachers through their courses. These two colleges eventually merged to become the Institute of Early Childhood, which moved to Macquarie University in the mid-1990s. So we used to be called the Institute of Early Childhood, but now we are a discipline of early childhood within the School of Education. We are actually the largest university provider of early childhood in Australia. I know that when I've been overseas and presented at conferences, early childhood at Macquarie University is held in such high regard as it has an outstanding reputation for producing high quality teachers and researchers. And as you can see on the slide, from just a small number of the books presented, we really are a team comprising great researchers who actively publish in all areas of early childhood. You will find our staff with expertise in linguistics, mathematics, science, technology, play, creative arts, leadership, child development, inclusion, policy, management and professional experience. The academic staff in early childhood at Macquarie are truly amazing people and you will benefit from their expertise. And something that's really important when choosing a university to study at is making connections with other people. And so we're really fortunate here that you can find all of our early childhood staff in the one building located at 29 Wally's Walk. We often like to showcase our early childhood centres that are on campus and we are so fortunate we have three early childhood centres. We have Mia Mia, Banksia and Gumna. And normally we would have Mia Mia open so that you could go and take a visit and walk through. Um, Mia Mia and Child and Family Study Centre 
has a national and international reputation for excellence in early childhood education and teaching. It provides a high quality long daycare program for the community. It offers excellent learning, observation and research opportunities for our academic staff and early childhood education students. And we are very fortunate to have one of our recent graduates and she's also an early childhood teacher from Mia Mia here who is going to tell you a bit more about this later in the presentation. So why become a teacher? When children are exposed to positive educational experiences prior to school, their learning capabilities and in turn their chances of excelling in school are greatly improved. Quality early childhood education provides a strong foundation for learning and it helps young children develop their social and emotional skills. We all know that teaching is important and yet one of the things that a lot of students studying early childhood are quite shocked to find out that there is actually a lot of work involved and it's not just all about play and having fun with young children. There is actually a lot of theory in everything we learn and this is because theory and theoretical concepts provide us with recognising what we might have just thought of as common sense knowledge but we then realise that actually most of what we know about young children and pedagogy is actually theoretically based. Working with young children is a stimulating, satisfying and rewarding career that provides the opportunity to influence and shape many lives. So why come to Macquarie? It has a beautiful campus grounds, a university station for ease, to get to campus. It has great facilities such as the gym, the library, the student spaces and the close proximity to Macquarie Shopping Centre. But most importantly, it has a real commitment to students. And in education, we demonstrate this through recognising that teaching has evolved into an even more complex pursuit, with teachers constantly facing competing demands. To teach successfully in today's environment, there are several important attributes every teacher should develop. So these can be seen through our five R's framework. Resilience. In order to be more resilient in teaching, teachers need to be able to manage uncertain and complex issues and unexpected events whenever they arise in their career. Reflexive. Being reflexive involves not only thinking about the past and what occurred, but then acting upon this. So a reflexive approach to teaching assists us in making effective decisions that ensure quality outcomes for children and students. Responsive to students, colleagues, parents and professional communities. And this is because teaching is a relational profession. The best teachers make deep connections with the children and students they work with, with their parents and with communities. Ready to learn. When teachers graduate from university, they are far from the end of their learning journey, but rather just at the beginning. The ongoing pursuit of learning is important and to recognise learning needs that are not a one size fits all affair. Teachers need to identify their individual learning needs within the context of their career. Research engaged. Research engaged throughout their career. Effective teaching needs to be based on evidence and we call this evidence-based teaching. This evidence can come from your own research in your classroom or the latest academic research. And so you need to have a critical understanding. It's essential and it needs to be analysed and it needs to be practised. So we offer two early childhood degrees at Macquarie. The Bachelor of Teaching, Early Childhood Education, or the Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Education Primary, Early Childhood Teaching Major. These are both outstanding degrees and they are both four years. I'll just talk about each individually now. So the Bachelor of Teaching, Early Childhood Degree, qualifies you to teach children aged from birth to five years in prior to school settings, such as long daycare centres or preschools. It also prepares you for other roles in children's services. You'll have access to training through Macquarie's Mia Mia Child and Family Study Centre and you'll undertake 80 days of professional experience in a range of early childhood settings. And this allows you to make connections between theory and real world practice. This course is available on campus via distance education or through a combination of both. 
So our flexible study mode enables you to continue to be employed full time while studying if that's your preference. Um, recognition of prior learning is given if you hold a diploma of early childhood education and care or equivalent. You'll need an ATAR of 75. And this course is accredited by the Australian Children's Education and Care Quality Authority, also known as ASEQA, and is recognised nationally and internationally by early childhood education providers. When applying, you also are required to complete a short non-academic survey about your suitability for teaching when you apply at Macquarie University. The Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Education Primary with a major in early childhood teaching degree. So completing this degree is going to qualify you to work with children aged from birth to 12 years. This is our very popular degree because often when students are deciding whether they want to be an early childhood teacher or a primary teacher, they may not be sure of which one they would prefer. And so this degree qualifies you to teach welcome, in both welcome, contexts. Welcome, this, con this course is accredited by the New South Wales Education Standards Authority, NESA, and Australian Children's Education Care and Quality Authority, ASEQA, and is recognised nationally and internationally by early childhood education providers. You also need to complete a short non-academic survey about your suitability for teaching. You'll develop specialist knowledge of young children's learning and development, and you'll require the necessary skills to plan, implement and evaluate curriculum and learning experiences in prior to school and primary school settings. You'll have access to training through Macquarie's Mia Mia Child and Family Study Centre. And you're going to undertake 95 days of professional experience in early childhood settings and schools. Recognition of prior learning is given if you hold a diploma of early childhood education and care or equivalent, like a diploma of children's services or a diploma of community services, centre-based care. So each unit generally involves about three hours of face-to-face -face classes or equivalent online classes each week. So enrolling in four units means being in class for about 12 hours per week. And for each unit, you are enrolled in the amount of time for researching, reading and preparing assignments is about nine hours per week. Full-time study is like a full-time job. So what are you going to study? Um, we have common units across our first year for early childhood primary and secondary programs, which is a recognition that education starts from birth. And we're very committed to that in our School of Education. You will do professional experience units in a range of early childhood and school settings. And the units you're going to study will include health, well-being, play, child development, STEAM, inclusive education, language and literacy, leadership, the creative arts, among many others. And these are all available in detail on the School of Education website at Macquarie. But we don't leave you just there. We, In your final year, you're going to be doing transition to the profession events, and these are conducted and culminate in the transition to the profession, stepping out of Macquarie University and stepping into the classroom. When you start teaching um, is something that people often want to know. So uh, your placements are going to be given to you over um, the Bachelor of Teaching degree. So if you're enrolled in that degree, your 80 days is going to be split up into the following ways. You're going to be doing a 10 day placement in semester one. And in your second year, you'll do 10 days and then a 20 day placement in semester one of your third year. And then you'll do in your final year, your fourth year, um, your placements will be split across two semesters with a 20 day placement in semester one and a 30 day placement in semester two. And these are all completed in early childhood settings. If you are enrolled in the BAB Ed primary with an ECT, 
major, the birth to 12 degree, then you're going to be doing 95 days. So in semester one, in your second year, you will do a 10 day placement in a primary school, then two placements in third year, so a 20 day placement in semester one, and an, in an early childhood setting, then a 15 day placement in a school, and then you will do two placements in your fourth year split across both semesters with a 20 day placement in semester one in early childhood, and then a 30 day placement in semester two in a primary school. So we've got a couple of important recent developments. So as I mentioned previously, you will need to complete a short survey about your suitability to be a teacher when you apply to do a teaching degree at Macquarie. And from 2016, students completing a New South Wales teacher education degree for teaching in primary schools need to have passed an approved literacy and numeracy test to be eligible for accreditation as a teacher in schools, and this is called land type. So you will need to sit for and pass the test before your professional experience placement in third year. And teaching performance assessment, also known as the TPA, this is for all students and you will complete this as part of your final professional experience in your fourth year. And Macquarie is the only university to have this accredited, so we are extremely proud of this achievement. <coughs> Thank you so much for making the time to come and talk to us today. Um, I'm just wondering what made you choose Macquarie University for early childhood? Yeah, definitely. So when I finished my HSC and at the end of year 12, I was really uncertain about whether I wanted to study primary or early childhood teaching, and I was leaning more towards primary. But once I started looking at the course outline, I understood that there was far more that goes on before children get to the classroom in primary school, and I wanted to learn more about the development and what they know and what we can help them to learn before they get there. So that's why I chose the early childhood degree with the primary degree as well. And how did you find that degree? What were some of your highlights? Yeah, I found it really interesting. I learned a lot about child development as well as um, how to do a lot with, sorry, <laughs> just my train of thought. Some yeah. of your placements? <clears throat> we did six early childhood and primary placements across the degree. So we had three in prior to school and three in school settings. Um, and on all of those opportunities, I was able to observe teachers out in the workforce, as well as document children's learning and learn more about um, their development and also get a hands-on opportunity to teach myself um, and provide experiences in prior to school settings and provide lessons in primary school. So all around, it was a very good experience. Yeah. And did you have a highlight with your prior? Yeah, definitely. So in my final year, I got to go on a rural placement with three of my um, peers from my cohort and we got to teach um, in a small rural school of 75 students so between the four of us we taught the entire of primary which was lots of fun um, and I was studying a creative arts unit at uni so in collaboration with my teacher there we were able to plan an experience for all of those students where we got a local parent um, to come in who was an indigenous artist and she taught the students how to dot paint using those traditional techniques and she taught us how to do that as well um, and it was such a great thing to come and collaborate on together so yeah that sounds amazing yeah it was very meaningful yes mm. and did you find um, after you finished your degree yeah. um, were you working out whether you will go and teach in early childhood or in primary and, yeah, and how did you come to that decision about your... That was a tricky one. When I finished I originally thought that I would move out of Sydney and teach rurally because I had such a fantastic time on that placement but a uh, position came up at Mia Mia on campus and I applied and went for an interview there and luckily enough I was able to get a job despite being in the midst of a pandemic which has been very difficult but I currently work there as an early childhood teacher in the nursery in the birth to two room um, and that's been such a rewarding experience this year being able to work um, amongst colleagues who are professionals in their field as well as with academics um, developing my skills building those relationships with the children and with the families, uh, documenting their learning, focusing on routines, doing so many things and really applying my knowledge from the degree into the workplace every day. So yeah, it's been really good. And for those people who don't know much about me and me, would mm. you be able to share a little bit? Yeah, definitely. So Macquarie is lucky enough to have their own research and family study centre on campus and people from the uni come in to do 
research on those families as well as um, sharing their current knowledge with the team there. Um, and yeah, we're very lucky to have students come through from the uni to look and work with the, the team. Um, and it just provides a wonderful opportunity to see people working in the workplace from an observational perspective um, with the lead research at the moment. So, yeah. And how likely would you be able to, um, would you recommend um, anyone to come and do an early childhood Most degree at Macquarie? Definitely, I really would. Macquarie have such approachable yeah, academics, they have such quality resources on campus. It's a very like welcoming and friendly campus to be a part of. Um, and in terms of early childhood, they really are the lead leaders in their research and their field with up-to-date knowledge. So learning from the, the academics here, um, as well as from my peers, I would highly recommend coming and doing the degree because I've learned so much. Thank you so much, Georgie. No, we really you. appreciate that you've spent all of your time today to share your knowledge with us. We thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you.